Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Nick Tan Chats, my magic and mostly mentalism review show. My name is Nick Tan, and on today's episode, I'll be chatting with you guys about the Into Wallet by TCC Magic. So hi again guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, thanks for showing up, thanks for tuning in. So, um, well, it's been a minute, all right, since I've last uh, chatted about a magic wallet of some kind. And um, well, this is actually um, not a new thing. I think it's been out for about uh, maybe a year or so. While it is not a new wallet per se, all right, I, I believe this is new in that they've just released uh, the Intu wallet uh, made of leather. Okay, so I think the previous version, that was probably um, not leather, some kind of a, you know, pseudo leather, I suppose. Um, but this one is made of leather, and uh, this will be the one that I'll be uh, chatting about today. So I've had the Intu wallet for about a week, you know, and I've, uh, you know, filled it with stuff and I've been playing around with it. Uh, performed it, you know, just a couple of times, really casually, you know, for friends and family members. And, um, well, it's, um, it's grown on me, actually. I mean, when I first got it, uh, there were some things I didn't quite fancy, you know, but the more I used it, uh, the more I got familiar with it, uh, the more I realized that it's actually quite uh, a practical wallet for the close-up performer. So what is the Intu wallet? Well, the Intu wallet has uh, kind of two main features, all right? So it is a peak device, okay? And on top of that, it's also a card to wallet, okay? So I'll be discussing uh, these two features with you because there are a couple of ways in which to do uh, both of them, all right? So there are multiple ways for you to peek, and there are also uh, multiple ways for you to do the card to wallet, all right? So I'll quickly uh, chat about those features uh, on this episode. But of course, before that, uh, let's talk about what you get, okay, when you purchase the Intu wallet. So um, you get the wallet itself, and also, I mean, it comes in this box, okay, the Intu wallet uh, box. Uh, inside, you will get the link to the tutorial video. Now, the tutorial video is um, it's quite simple. Or I think it runs for about half an hour or so. It's well shot and on the video, they will go through exactly what the Intu wallet is all about, uh, how to set it up, you know, all the various other items that comes with the wallet. And then you'll be taught uh, how to perform the various peaks, all right, that are possible with the wallet. And also you'll be taught uh, the card to wallet features as well. So on top of the wallet itself, you'll be receiving uh, some other stuff, okay, which I will uh, just briefly discuss with you. Um, there is a kind of black uh, card, okay, which will be used for, you know, one of the peaks, all right? I'll briefly talk about that uh, in just a while. You will also get uh, 10, all right, uh, of these cards, all right, these billets that are used uh, with the Intu wallet, all right? Now, these aren't like, you know, business card sized, okay? As you can tell, they're quite large. Um, they are, in fact, I believe, uh, nine, nine and a half centimeters by 6.7 centimeters, okay? So they are larger than, than playing cards as well. You will also get uh, 10 envelopes, all right? So you'll get uh, five red and uh, five white, okay? So these envelopes are envelopes that will be used uh, together with the Intu wallet uh, for the card to envelope feature that the wallet can allow you to perform. And of course, last but not least, uh, you will get this kind of translucent, transparent uh, sleeve, okay? So it's like a pocket of sorts like this, okay? Hope you can see that. Um, this will be used for the folded card to wallet feature, okay? So if you don't wish to use uh, an envelope, uh, this can be used as well. I'll show you what it looks like uh, a little later on. All right, but for now, uh, let's quickly talk about the wallet, okay? Now, if you're interested in the workings uh, of the wallet, okay, I think TCC has actually been really transparent um, about how the wallet works, okay? So if you've gone to watch the trailer, okay, you will see that, you know, they really just show you exactly how the peaks work um, and there'll be a demonstration of all the various um, card to wallet moves as well. So while they've been really you know, transparent in showing you exactly how the wallet works, I won't be doing that here because I, I don't know, I just feel a little bit uncomfortable doing that. All right. But um, yeah, if you're interested, have a look at it. You know how it works. Please uh, do look up the trailer for the Into Wallet by uh, TCC. So I fully uh, set up my wallet. Okay. So um, I'll introduce you the various parts of the wallet, right? So on the front, you have four of these pockets. Uh, they are working pockets. Okay. So you can 
place your your cards, you know, your credit cards or your 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 bank cards there, uh, and they will carry four of them. Uh, on the back, you will have three pockets. Okay, three of them. Now these three uh, aren't really working pockets. Okay, in fact, they are part of the the methods for. Uh, the peaks as well as the card to wallet um, functions. On this side over here, there is a, a slot. Okay, now I'll, I'll just remove this index card because I, I use this for a particular routine that I, I'm currently performing, but I'll just place that aside. So this slot, okay, actually is, well, it's, it's kind of described as the SUC slot. Okay, so it obviously leads into uh, the zippered compartment on this side. All right. Now, when I heard SUC, it was a bit confusing to me because typically um, the, the sight unseen case, right, by, by Mark Strivings, it's used for a peak, right? And it's been built into other wallets as well, you know, things like the Stealth Assassin wallet, uh, the Viper wallet as well. Um, but in this case, it's not used for a peak, right? It's, it's kind of used for the one of the methods to do the card to wallet. Okay, so I mean, it, while it's called the SUC, it, it just it was a bit confusing to me. And then, of course, uh, with the SUC, okay, uh, there is the zippered compartment. Okay, so the inside here, there are actually it's hard to show it to you, but there are actually three compartments. Okay, uh, one via the SUC, uh, and then one where you can really legitimately keep stuff. Okay, so you can keep. Uh, extra billets uh, inside inside here, okay, in one of the slots, and there is a third slot that is used primarily for uh, the peak functions. All right, so that is the rough kind of anatomy, okay, uh, of the into wallet. So let's talk a little bit about uh, the functions right now. So when it comes to peaking, uh, there are actually uh, three ways in which to get your peak. Okay, so um, the first one deals with this area here, this window. Uh, again, you can watch the performance and the demonstration in the trailer, but um, really briefly, right? There is a, an internal kind of a peak and an external one. Okay, so the external one would look something like this. You remove uh, a billet, have the spectator, you know, write something down or draw a picture, unzip the wallet, uh, replace it inside the wallet. Okay, so the billet goes inside, it's zipped up, so they can see that it's you know out of sight. Place it down on the table. You know, perform your presentation. All right, do your process, and then when you pick up the wallet uh, again, uh, in the action of removing another billet, okay, that is when the work happens and um, you're done. Okay, so do your duplication, uh, remove the spectator's billet from inside, hand it to them, and you know, have the comparison for the for the reveal. So that is kind of like the external peaking system, okay, which is quite similar to the shadow wallet. Okay, if you if you have that, you will know exactly how this works. The internal peak looks something like this. Okay, so they make their drawing. Uh, you insert their billet into this compartment here. All right, on the outside. Again, you can flash the wallet all around. It seemed to be as it should. All right, and then in the action of picking up the wallet and opening the wallet and reaching in to remove something, you know, I don't know, a bill perhaps or another uh, billet, okay? In this action uh, and zipping it up again, you will, you know, do the work and um, that's it, all right? So then at the end, you can remove this card from this slot, hand it to them and uh, go into your review, okay? So those are the two uh, peaks with this area, all right? One is the internal one and one is the external peak. So the third peaking method, okay, I think will appeal to a number of you, all right? To me, it's not um, necessary, all right? It's not something that I, I personally would use, but it's really clever, all right? It works, um, and that is a, a folded billet peak, okay? So it looks something like this. They make their drawing on the billet. Uh, the billet gets folded in half like this, okay? Just folded in half once, so, you know, their, their thought is on the inside. Uh, you pick up the wallet here, and you insert their billet in here into this top compartment on this side over there. All right, so it's folded up and it's inserted there and it seemed to be quite quite secure, right? And then in the action, again, of uh, reopening the wallet, going in this way, you will have um, a, you know, be able to do the work here as you remove another billet to, to do your 
your duplication or your, or your review, all right? So that is uh, a third method, okay? A third way of doing it uh, with a folded billet. So those are the three um, ways uh, that you can use the Intu Wallet as a peak device. Okay, so now let's talk about the card to wallet feature. So when it comes to the card to wallet feature, all right, uh, the card uh, that is removed, all right, from the wallet comes from the zippered compartment right here. Okay, so there are like a couple of ways to, to go about doing it. All right, one, as I mentioned, is via the uh, the SUC, all right, the sight unseen slot. Uh, and that one I think is the most um, practical, I suppose, because it's uh, it's a non-palm method. Okay, in fact, I'll, I'll try to demo it for you here. All right, so you have a spectator, select a card, uh, you pick up the wallet this way, and then in the action of unzipping the wallet like that, you remove from within uh, their, their card. Okay, so that's uh, how the, the sight unseen slot works. Really, really practical, you know, um, and you know, there's no palming involved. So that might appeal uh, to some of you out there. Another way, all right, is through uh, the slot up here. Okay, the top slot here. Now this will be used, you know, like most card to wallets where the wallet begins in your pocket, all right, your back pocket, uh, maybe in your jacket pocket, you know, perhaps. There is no guide okay for 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 the card to go in however uh, a method is taught where uh, you can use um, another card as a kind of a guide you know uh, under the guise of a little joke i suppose all right but um i i've tried it out you know you don't really need uh, a guide okay because there's a step over here all right as you can see okay there's a little step there which allows your fingers to contact before you engage you know and um, you know have, have the card go in, all right? So it, it's through there. And again, once it's in there, it will come up through the, the zippered compartment again, okay? The other way that you can do this is with uh, this sleeve, all right? Which uh, you'll have to insert uh, into the wallet, okay? Now this I found to be a little bit tricky, but I'll, I'll try to do this uh, in, in real time as fast as I can. And uh, there we go, all right? So it begins like that, okay? So that sleeve is now inside and it's set up uh, with the, you know, that, that thing, all right? <laughs> Whatever you call that, the, the flaps, the tonsils, or, you know, um, yeah. Okay, so uh, it's set up like that. In this case, uh, it's not recommended to have a full-sized playing card go in, okay? Uh, you could, you know, but it's gonna be really, really tricky because it, it will get caught up, I think, okay? so. What is suggested is you use uh, a folded card, okay? So you fold up a card uh, via your your uh, your Merc, okay? So fold up your card, all right? It's riding under the deck. Pull this out, and then this will be in your in your back pocket, right? So I'll I'll just do it under the table for now, uh, and then your Merc Merc card uh, goes in this way. You remove the wallet from your back pocket. Uh, you can flash it all around, unzip the wallet, reach in there, remove the sleeve like that. Okay, so they see the sleeve coming out like this, and uh, this is the picture that they will see. Okay, there is a card, a folded card inside the sleeve, and at this point, you can really fairly open up the sleeve. They can see that the card is in there, uh, and you can remove it uh, into their hand. They open it, and they see that it is, in fact, the assigned card. So that's the sleeve, all right? Uh, and then comes the the envelopes. Now the envelopes work exactly like the sleeve, okay? So you just have to kind of prepare the envelopes, okay? As with most card to envelope kind of methods, um, you have to, you know, prepare the, the stuff, okay? Uh, and then that will be loaded into the, that thing, okay? <laughs> The flaps, I, I think, all right? So with this, uh, I think you can get a card in there quite quite safely, all right? Or if you are, again, unsure, uh, you can just really easily just load in the folded card instead. And of course, you know, because these two will take most small objects, you could also do a ring, all right, to envelope or a signed coin, perhaps, uh, to envelope as well if you if you wish. 
so I just realized that I forgot to tell you about the black card, right, that is included with the set. So um, the black card actually serves as a way to kind of block out, uh, you know, the window, all right, one particular area. So if you'll be using uh, the internal peak this way, you can't insert in a billet like that uh, with this being on display. Okay, because that kind of gives the method away. So that's where this card comes in. Uh, this will be placed here. Uh, you might have to trim this a little bit, all right, the card. Um, but this is to kind of block out this area so that when uh, a billet goes in here, all right, uh, all looks as it should be and uh, it doesn't look, you know, completely wrong. All right, but yeah, that is uh, the Intu wallet, you know. I think um, it is a wallet that I, I've grown to quite like, you know. In fact, I've been playing with it for about uh, a week, you know, slightly more than that maybe, and I've already got uh, quite a number of ideas uh, with the wallet. So I actually had the intention um, of kind of um, showing you guys some of the ideas that I had with the wallet uh, here on the channel, right? But um, in rethinking it, right, it really came across as I think I was giving away too much information, you know, and um, you know, I wasn't I wasn't comfortable doing that on a, on an open platform such as YouTube, right? So I have, in fact. Uh, done up a, a short like I don't know 20 minute or so video which I've posted uh, on the TCC um, Facebook group all right so on that video I will share with you uh, a couple of ideas for the card to wallet and also I'll be sharing with you guys a prediction effect that I do with the into wallet which I think works really really well uh, with the SUC feature of the wallet so if you'd like to watch uh, that video, you know, just uh, head over to Facebook. I will leave the link in the description box down below. Uh, just, you know, join the group and um, you will find the video there. So there are a couple of negatives, I suppose, you know, which I, I can talk about, all right, when it comes to, to the Intu wallet. So the first thing I, I will say is that the size of the billets that I used, okay, for this particular window, all right, the peak window, um, are quite large. Right, they are not like business card sized. In fact, uh, you will see, you know, that if you hold up uh, just a regular playing card, it is well. I'll, I'll turn it the other way around. Right, so you will see that it is quite, you know, much larger. All right, it goes around the border uh, of the card. So these are larger than I'm, I'm normally used to working. You know, when it comes to billets, I mean, you can use uh, blank uh, playing cards. All right, so for example, if I were to remove this. You can use blank cards and stick them in here, okay, like that. They, they will work, all right. Uh, I find playing cards a little bit tricky to remove because you know you have to kind of dig a little bit deeper to, to pull out the card. Uh, and these cards uh, that I've I've actually cut up my own billets, all right, with with a particular card stock that, that I like. So um, the size of these, all right, will stick up above the mouth of the pocket just a little bit, all right, which kind of aids in removing the billets. Okay, so yeah, that's the only thing um, I found a little bit, uh, you know, um, the size of the billets, all right? But I, I suppose if you are gonna be using the billets, um, or rather the wallet quite regularly, you can just cut up, you know, your own index cards. Just find a card stock uh, as I have, all right, that uh, is, is quite thin, um, but it's not gonna let, you know, Sharpie bleed through, all right? Because that's important, right? Uh, the next thing, that I'm slightly concerned about is, well, I like the design of the wallet. I think the peaks are really, really deceptive, all right, really practical as well. The card to wallet as well, I, I like it a lot, all right, I think it's really practical. However, um, I'm not sure how how much, you know, um, stress the, the edges or the stitching uh, on these two edges here, these two corners, how much it can take because the handling of the wallet is such that you know, it goes through a lot of this kind of thing, right? Yanking and, and pulling um, to remove cards or, or to get your, your peak, all right, in, in the internal method. So, yeah, there's a lot of tension that goes on and I think it goes through quite a bit of physical stress, all right, uh, especially at this corner here, all right? So that's the only thing, I mean, I'm worrying about a problem that hasn't happened yet. You know, I've used it for a week or so, it still looks great, still works really well. But yeah, that is uh, just, a little concern that I have. But all in, you know, uh, as I mentioned, you know, I think uh, the wallet is uh, really, really cool, all right, really nice. Uh, the peaks are very deceptive, okay? The internal peak, the external peak, they are peaks that I would really gladly use, all right, if, if I were to use a wallet. Um, the card to wallet method as well, really practical, 
okay quite quite deceptive as well I think uh, if you're using the uh, the SUC slot okay so yeah really practical and um, just with this wallet alone you know I'm really happy that I can perform you know a good set of um, card magic uh, along with some mentalism as well using the peaks all right, so that's all I have to say uh, about the Intu wallet all right, from TCC. I would like to thank uh, TCC for sending uh, a copy over to me so that I can chat about it with you guys on this show. If you would like to pick up a copy of the leather version all right, of the Intu wallet for yourselves, I will leave the link in the description box down below. And before I go, all right, TCC has also sent me something else uh, which I thought I'd just mention. All right? um, they've sent me four sponge balls. All right, four sponge balls, and these are, I think, new on their on their site. You know, so you can have a look at them. I mean, they are they do feel quite nice, I suppose, high quality sponge balls. Uh, so I just thought I'd mention them. Um, you know, for those of you out there who uh, perform this sort of material regularly. Okay, so they are high quality sponge balls. Um, they don't go out of shape apparently. You know, you know, because in the past, right, when we use sponge balls, they tend to kind of you know warp and not bounce back right but these uh, apparently uh, are of the material that uh, they won't go out of shape okay so uh, yeah just thought I mentioned that so uh, do check them out on the TCC website as well so that's all for today's episode guys I do hope you enjoyed yourselves and got something out of it okay so till the next episode uh, do stay safe take care of yourselves uh, have fun with your magic and your mentalism and I will see you on a future episode of Nick Tan Chats